Assignment 2, question 4. In this circuit, find the voltage V0 between this node and this node down here. The reference node has been chosen for us already with this symbol. So this is the reference. All of this node is our reference node. Let's mark it. This is our reference, right? Reference node. And then this, which is our primary node, because it's the node that will give us the voltage V0, will be node 1. And the others will be node uh, uh, 2, for instance, and node 3. If we continue to do that, we could say this is node 4, and then say we're going to have four KCL equations. Hmm. No control equation, because there is no controlled source, but there is an evil branch here. We would have one evil equation, so it would be five total equations. However, we have learned in the tutorials of this course is that an evil branch actually can help a lot. Let's see. Let me erase this note. We do not need to compute the voltage there because the node here is a reference node. The voltage by definition here is zero volts, so that means that the voltage here is 12 volts higher. This is a 12 volts node. I write it like so, indicating that the voltage of the node is known already with respect to the reference. We do not need to write a KCL equation there. And because I don't care for the evil carrot in this branch, I don't need to write an evil equation either. So instead of five equations, I write only three KCL equations. So let's write KCL equation for node number uh, one, KCL one for this one. But before doing that, we need to specify the directions for the branch currents. Let's say it is one. I am specifying the branch currents completely arbitrarily, all right? But once I specify them, I stick to those in every branch. It's not that I will go changing them back and forth. I use whatever I choose. I'm not going to compute the evil current here, so I will not draw it. this current specified. We're ready to write KCL equations. For node 1, the KCL equation is Karen's going in, the one on the top, R branch, this one, R branch, and leaving only one in this R branch. Let's see, the one on the top, voltage of the origin, V2 minus voltage of the destination, V1, divided by 1,000, 1 kilo, 1 kilo, right? plus this carrying voltage of the origin V3 minus voltage of the destination of the chosen current V1 divided by the resistance of the branch 1 kilo 1 kilo and that is equal to the current leaving the node in this case only one voltage of the origin V1 minus voltage of the destination Reference, eh? The zero volts divided by four kilos. Four kilos. Excellent. Now we write KCL for no two. Karen's going in. Another R branch. Twelve volts minus V2 over one kilo. Twelve volts, it's known. Minus V2, the destination of the chosen current, divided by a one kilo. That is equal to currents leaving the node. This one through an R branch is voltage of the origin, V2, minus voltage of the destination of the current, V3, divided by the resistance in that R branch, 2 kilos, plus the other current leaving the node through another R branch, voltage of the origin, V2, minus voltage of the destination V1 divided by the resistance 1 kilo 1 kilo 
Now we go for KCL3. Karen's going in. Three Karen's actually. These are branches. Karen, these other are branches. Karen and these Karen source. Karen, right? Let's try them. Mm, this one. Karen's going in. Well, voltage of the origin. It's an R branch, right? V2 minus voltage of the destination. V3 divided by 2 kilo. Plus this current, it's an R branch. Voltage of the origin, 12 volts, minus voltage of the destination of the current, V3, divided by the resistance of the branch, 2 kilos. Plus the current of this branch, 5 milliamps. Oh, that's good. 5 milliamps, and that is equal to the current, leaving the node only one, this one. R branch, voltage of the origin, V3, minus voltage of the destination, V1, divided by 1 kilo. And those are the three equations, and the three unknowns are V1, V2, and V3, the voltages of those three nodes with respect to the reference, this one chosen already. We can enter those equations in our calculator just like that, 1,000, 1,000, 4,000, etc. But you know what, I am a lazy typist, so I prefer to multiply this equation by 1000, so I eliminate the case, I eliminate the case here the same way, multiply the whole equation by 1000, and if I multiply this by 1000, I eliminate this k, this k, this k, and this 0 0.005, 5 milliamps becomes 5. Excellent. Let's write the three equations in the calculator. We begin by putting the calculator in equation writer mode and write the first equation, V2 minus V1. Alpha V2 minus alpha V1 minus alpha V1 divided by 1. I'm not going to do that. Plus V3 minus V1 over 1 plus V3 minus alpha V1 over 1. That's it. And the whole thing is equal to, so highlight, 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 the whole thing is equal to V1 divided by 4. And that is our first equation. And we type the other equations the same way. For KCL2, I go to the equation writer 12 minus V2 minus V2 and the whole thing is equal to equal to V2 minus V3 over 2. Alpha V2 minus V3. Highlight, highlight. Divide to highlight the whole thing. Plus V2 minus V1. V2 minus V1. And that is our second equation. We type the third one the same. Now those three equations, KCL1, KCL2, and KCL3, I type 3 to tell the calculator it is three equations I'm going to turn into an array with this Megmian array. How is uh, a white control key or shift key program make me an array that's your array and now separated by spaces I enter alpha v1 space alpha v2 these are the unknowns I want to solve for right v2 space alpha v3 and I tell the calculator hey there is three three unknowns Make me an array with those three, like so. I have uh, the 
system of equations and the unknown I want to solve for. Now I go to symbolic solver, white, seven key that is symbolic solver and ask for the linear solver like so. And those are the voltages that we're looking for. In particular, V1, which is V0, is 12.14 root volts. V0 is 12.14 root volts, which is the answer to this exercise. Thank you very much.